that is the, the, the most important thing that you need to learn so that you know how to avoid, right? So third thing, how to determine the right entry and exit. Ha, this is the part that you really need to know. Uh, how to determine the exit. A lot of people say, Kelvin, I want to learn how to buy property, but I also, I never think about exit one. You know, a lot of people are like that. And that is something that you must learn. Like now, I ask you this question here. If you currently own a property, two-bedroom, right, at $1.2 million, your rental is $4,500, your cash flow uh, is $1,000 every month. That means every month, uh, you get back $1,000, you, you own this asset. Now, the property has increased in price to $1.5 million. How many of you will sell one? If you say you want to sell one, say sell. If you don't want, you say keep. Uh, type inside the chat group, sell one. How many of you will sell? Or how many of you will keep? Sell, sell. How many of you keep? Sell or keep, sell, sell. Nobody keep. Oh, some say, say keep, keep, keep. Good, good. Thank you so much, uh, Michael. Uh, so many of you, PK, uh, Aaron, thank you so much for your... I've been seeing that you guys have been always... Uh, King inside the chat group, uh, wow, that's amazing. Sure, whether got used for the prophecy, you know? exactly, right? See whether got used for prophecy, and that's important. Why? Because in, that's what I always say, sell unless you have a reason. But I let me tell you, I will determine whether to sell not because of emotion. I will determine to sell is because of this. You see, uh, this is exactly what happened uh, to the property. The price has gone up, but it has flattened. You need to see from 2013 uh, until today, uh, 10 years, uh, this property, you can enjoy passive income, $1,000. But if you take $1,000 back, the last 10 years, uh, the price is flat. You know? Do you actually make money? Actually, no. Eh? Even you can get passive income, $1,000 every month. Did you really save $1,000? So that's the reason why just now one of you will say, how do I better make use of my money? That's why to sell a property or not to sell a property, you need to know one thing. When do I determine to sell? And later on, I will tell you exactly why is it, how can you learn the exit strategy without emotion one? You, you, you see, uh, for me, you see how I buy and sell property until today, what I have, right? It's because I have a proven exit strategy with me, right? I know when to exit, I know why I need to exit, I know what is the best time to exit. That's how I do it. If not, my money is inside this house, it's called what? Take money. Because cannot work one. Unless I take out all my profit, I use the money to help me to grow. And that is exactly, you need to know one thing. That's why, that's why in my PWS uh, success framework, right? There's only a decision based on one of the, my checklists uh, is what, you know. Has it exceeded the peak price? If I know that it has exceeded, I will sell. Why? I want to use the money to grow again. In fact, in my, in my training, uh, in my training workshop, right, I actually have a strategy that will tell you when to exit based on the checklist one. Because when you take all the checklists, uh, you will know whether you should sell or not sell. Because why? If not, there will always be emotion, like for example, I get my passive income, you know I have a high floor unit, you know my view is so good, you know so many things that is so positive, why should I sell? I wait for the price to go higher, you know last time, uh, last time my price uh, is so cheap, how can I buy back? You see, once you go into emotion trap, right, you are actually not using your income to work hard for you, you are not using your money to work hard. And that is what exactly I see many people fall into this trap. You look at this example, even worse. This HDB owner who actually attended my workshop uh, two years ago, I think three years ago, sorry, three years ago, he attended my workshop. He holds the property and, and husband and wife bought this HDB property. Uh, I cannot tell you where. Uh, he holds this property for 20 years and fully paid up. And you see uh, his CPA refund is 385, 385 plus 387. Uh, these two add up together easily will have 760,000. Uh, in order to break even. But the property valuation at that point of time only 612, 612. That means uh, 612 to 760 is the break even. He actually lost the CPF in between. Already. Whatever he has contributed, whatever he has been holding for the last 20 years, uh, people think that, oh, I pay fully all my assets, I can make a lot more money. Unfortunately, you look at this HDB owners. After staying for 20 years, 
don't make money, still lose money, all the hard-earned money is gone. In, in fact, he sold the property at 650000 And did he lose money? He lose. And that is very scary. Le. And that is really sad. Le. But what to do? Because he doesn't understand. That's the reason why I see I, every one of you. Our parents always tell me, Kevin, uh, work hard, save money, just hold the HDB for the next 20, 30 years. But I tell you, a lot of people suffer there. And that's not the right way. So that's why I say all of you here are the learner here, right? You really must know what is the best thing. And I'm very thankful for you for staying with me until now. Well, now it's 9.19, you're still with me, right? Because you want to learn. And, and that is something that you should avoid. That's why I want to tell you how to determine the exit strategy. And that is important. It's so easy to buy. But you must learn how to exit. That is number one. Number one criteria is to learn how to exit. Buy and never exit uh, is the serious mistake, uh, I want to tell all of you. Uh. Are we losing cost of interest? You are losing not because of interest. You are losing because of the CPF, CPF accrued interest. This is the most scary part. And, and this is compounded. And that is scary. And that's the reason why I need you to learn and understand how to do the right thing, my friend. Right? That's why it's the importance of determining the exit strategy. So, how you enter, you also must know when to exit. If not, forever you are just holding on to a property that may not have grown your assets. And that is important. That's the reason why can I really afford. Let's say for example, this case study. Bought at 1 million and today it's worth 1.4 million. So the question here is, today you actually can work to, you can easily buy a 1.8 million dollar property. Let's say your Asia, every one of you, uh, your Asia is 40. Today, you can actually qualify to buy 1.8 because your income income can actually allow you to buy 1.8. But you say, Kelvin, if I go and buy 1.8 million, I'll be very stressful. Because why? Because my installment is going to be higher. Five years ago, I bought at $1 million. And if I comfortably hold the property for the next until 65 years old, I'll be very comfortable and I don't need to be stressed. But the question is, why do I want to stress myself to buy 1.8 million? Is he wrong? No. In fact, it's nothing wrong. And many people fall into this trap called comfort trap. Comfort. And eventually what happened? They hold on to the asset. Is it good enough? I don't know. Let me share with you further. The reason why you want to upgrade your asset is because, right, first, First, you see, you actually make 400000 That is your profit. Just now your capital, if you buy at $1 million, is two hundred k. At least this amount of money, right? You actually sell the property away. You take out the money. You actually transfer this money to $1.8 million. Did you actually lose the money? No, the money actually is transferred. Just like just now, that guy... Just now I show you one example, the, the South Bank. From one, uh, the price has went up and eventually flat for the last 10 years. Can you imagine, that means the property did not actually appreciate it. But if you look at it, if you look at it, why do you need to sell? First, you own the asset at $1 million. Yes, it has increased to $1.4 million. But if your age is 40 years old now, if the property did not appreciate, at the age of 65, you will actually have $1.4 million. But if just now, if you sell this property and you own a $1.8 million, you, you and me know one thing, we take a loan until the age of 65. Eventually, whether you sell or don't sell, whether you got profit or not profit, right? Your asset net worth is going to be fully paid and the net worth will cost $1.8 million and $1.4 million. I want to ask every one of you here, if by right you can own a 1.8 million, but you choose to be comfortable, you own a 1.4 million. But eventually, both are fully paid out. Eventually. How many of you wants to own the 1.8? And how many of you want to own the 1.4? Can you type in the chat group? Which one do you prefer? 1.8 or 1.4? 1.8 lah. Thank you so much, Daniel. 1.8, right? Why do you want to own 1.8? Because very simple. You need to learn how to build your net worth. Just now I asked every one of you here, your HDB is how much? Just now the Sengkang HDB uh, is 700,000, 760,000. 
at least uh, if you own a fully paid up a 